the major ritual impurity and the full ablution, chazal, ritual bath, things which require a person to perform full ablution. There are certain things which require an adult Muslim to perform full ablution, chazal, before engaging in the prayer or circumambulating the Kaaba. Before he performs such ablution, he is said to be in a state of major ritual impurity. These things are as follows. 1. Ejaculation with pleasure and by any means, while asleep or awake. Ejaculation involves the expulsion of seminal fluid, a thick whitish fluid, from the urethra of the penis during orgasm, which is generally followed by a feeling of lethargy and inertia. 2. Sexual intercourse. This involves penetration, even if it does not lead to ejaculation. In fact, mere penetration of the glands into the vagina provides sufficient grounds for performing chazal, i.e. taking a ritual bath. The Quran says, If you are in a state of major impurity, then purify yourselves. Surat al-Ma'idah 5, 6 3. Menstrual blood and postnatal bleeding Menstrual blood is a natural type of blood which flows from the uterus of women and occurs at roughly monthly intervals during a woman's reproductive years. It usually lasts more or less seven days, with some variation from one woman to another. Postnatal bleeding This bleeding takes place following a delivery in the postnatal period and lasts for a number of days. Menstruating women and women experiencing their postnatal bleeding are exempt from fasting, as well as from performing the prayers. They must, however, make up for their missed fasts, but not for the missed prayers. During this period, a husband and wife can satisfy their sexual desire, but without having an intercourse. At the end of menstruation and postnatal bleeding, women must take a ritual bath, chazl. As the Quran states, they will ask you about menstruation. Say, it is an impurity so keep apart from women during menstruation, and do not approach them until they have purified themselves. But once they have purified themselves, then go to them in the way that Allah has enjoined on you. Surat al-Baqarah 2, 222